Hello everyone. In this video, we will build a simple CAPTCHA solver using Python and machine learning. For this project I am using a simple CAPTCHA dataset. Take a look at few images from the dataset. Now, in order to detect the text in the CAPTCHA, we have to build a CNN model trained on separate image of letters of the CAPTCHA. For building this model we need to separate out each letter image from the CAPTCHA and save it for training the model. So, for example take this CAPTCHA. We will separate each letter or number from the image. Like we will extract 2 from the image and save it as a new image. Similarly, we will extract all the letters present in the CAPTCHA. Now let's jump into the coding part. So, before moving forward, make sure you have OpenCV and Keras library installed. So, our first step is to prepare training data. For this, we will separate out each letter present in the CAPTCHA and save them as separate images, like I explained earlier. Our data contains CAPTCHA images with their text as image name. For example, look at this image. The name of the image and the text in the image are same. I am using Google Colab so everything is already installed, and data for this project is in my Google Drive. So, connecting to Google Drive first. Next, we will import necessary libraries. After this, I am defining the path to the training images and an output folder for the extracted letters. Now, we will grab the paths for all the training images. Next, we will loop over each training image. Then we will extract the image name because, we know that the CAPTCHA text and image name are same. After this, we will read the image and convert it into grayscale. Now, we will add a small padding of 2 pixels around the CAPTCHA to avoid any text touching the border. After that, we will apply threshold to create the difference between the pixels of text and the CAPTCHA background. I am applying thresh binary inverted here but you can change the values or apply other thresholds according to your CAPTCHA images. In order to separate each letter, we will find contours using CV2. After that we will loop over all contours and grab the coordinates of the bounding rectangle. In a CAPTCHA, two letters can be very close to each other or joined together. To counter this problem, we will check if any contour is too wide or not, and if we find a contour too wide, we will split it into half, and store these coordinates in an empty list. Now, it's time to save or write the separated letters images with their correct name. Remember our CAPTCHA text is our image name, which means we have to grab our first letter's image and first letter from the image name. To match the letter's image and letter's name correctly, we will sort our coordinates list based on the X coordinate, and grab the letters from left to right. After this we will extract the letters from the original image and add two pixels padding around it. Next, we will set the path to save the extracted letters images in separate folders based on the letters names. So, we will save all the images of digit 1 in the folder named 1. Similarly for images of digit 2 we will save them into folder named 2, and so on. So, now that we have our training images ready, it's time to prepare training data for our CNN model. We will read the extracted images. Our extracted images are not of the same size, so we will resize them. Now, our image is grayscale, hence it has only two dimensions, but Keras needs three dimensions, so we add another dimension using NumPy. We will store the image array into an empty list, data, and the image labels which is the image name in the list, labels. Next, we will rescale our pixel values between 0 and 1. Next we will split data into training and validation sets. After that we will label encode our target variable using label binarizer. Now we got everything ready for building CNN model, so let's build our CNN model using Kara's sequential model. I am building a simple model so there is nothing to explain. Our model is ready, so, let's train our model. We will use early stopping for avoiding overfitting. Okay, so our CNN model is trained and we got a pretty good accuracy. Let's test it on an unseen CAPTCHA image. Before testing the unseen image, we have to extract out each letter of the CAPTCHA as we did with the training images. And here is the prediction. And you can see that we have detected CAPTCHA very accurately. Let's test our model on few more test images. And our model is doing great. These were very simple CAPTCHA, but there are different types of complex CAPTCHAs, where a lot of image processing is required to clean the CAPTCHA before feeding it to the model or we have to come up with totally different technique to solve the CAPTCHA. So, this is it for this video. 
Link for the complete code and dataset is in the description. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video then, please subscribe to the channel.